It all started when I was sitting on the toilet, mindlessly scrolling through Instagram reels, listening to audios that were trending on TikTok over six months ago. That was until I discovered the number one secret that doctors do not want you to know. I will not be attempting to describe what you're about to see. I will simply provide it to you and we can debrief about it afterwards. Enjoy. I command all kidney stones to dissolve by the fire of God. Anxiety, get out in Jesus' name. We want to say a headache is attacking me instead of I have a headache. Stomach issues be gone. Food allergies leave in the name of Jesus. Are you getting attacked by incubus and succubus spirits in the night? Cells, I speak to you. I command you to open and receive insulin in Jesus Christ's name. Shadow Wizard Money Gang, we love casting spells. What you just saw there is a highlight reel of someone who goes by the name of Kathy DeGraw, a prophetic deliverance minister who apparently spent two years of her life prostrate on the floor, crying out to God for more of his presence and intimacy. She's an author, TV host, podcaster, and oil maker. We'll get into that later though. She also claims that she's been healed 16 times without medical intervention. I've been healed 16 times without medical intervention. I don't know what that means. Um, she doesn't specify the 16 ailments that she had been healed from. So I'm not sure. I, she could have died 16 times and been brought back to life for all I know. I would believe her at this point. <laughs> this made me think, if you had almost died 16 times, don't you think it's God telling you that time's up? Anyway. <laughs> if there's anyone to trust, it's Kathy. She's been through it. She's been through the trenches, all right? The first one I came across from her was actually healing kidney stones. Yes, let's just watch the video. Let's attack those kidney stones right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your kidneys and I command them to produce a proper amount of waste. I command your calcium levels to okay. be normal in Jesus Christ's name. I command all kidney stones to dissolve by the fire of God right now. Any spirit of infirmity attacking you in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to go. I crush crush, crush kidney stones right now. And I say crush and pass out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Friends, you got to get up. You got to decree audibly. Years ago, my husband came running in my bedroom. We didn't know it. It was a kidney stone. I decreed. I declared out loud audibly. That thing crushed. It crushed. Went to the doctor a week later for a normal checkup. He agreed. He probably had he one. He probably had Friends, one. Friends, get up, decree, <laughs> declare. Put something in the comments right now so well, I can stand in agreement with you in prayer. I'm going to need to see some medical documents about this because I, I'm not... I would like to know for sure, like, was it a kidney stone or was he just having a bit of a boo-boo? I don't know. When I came across this, I, I was so surprised that I haven't seen any other videos about it. The only videos I see of her is where she's featured and things like this. I've actually seen nobody else cover this woman. So I thought the comments were going to be trolls. So unless she's got a really good, unless she's like deleting the comments or something, but the comments are actually in agreement with her. Uh, people saying, you know, thank you, Lord, take your hammer and crush those stones. What? Now, look, I'm not here to bash anybody's religion. I'm not religious. I'm neutral about religion, okay? But this, this isn't religion anymore. This is mental illness. I've never seen anything like it before. Me personally. I'm laughing, but I, I, I don't know what else to do in this situation. She's clearly deranged. Um, anyway, so that's for your kidney stones. So... Hey, watch this whole video and I, we're going to get cured of every single thing, everything ever. Um, now, look, speaking about me, I am an anxious little girly. So she also has one for anxiety. So let's take a look at that one there. I command all stress in your life to break down. I command your situation to turn around in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Any heart racing or heart palpitations mm -hmm. from anxiety. I command that heart to beat with the rhythm of life. I command all fear 
fear and torment to get out in the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. Anxiety, loose them and let them go in Jesus Christ's name. And I command every demonic tormentor to get out of you get in out. the name of Jesus. Let me go. Anxiety, let me go. get oh, out oh, 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 in Jesus' oh, name. Oh and I command you to stay Ew, out in Jesus' name. <laughs> I ask for the Holy Spirit I'm to come cured. upon you Wait. and fill you fresh and fill anew. Me fresh. Friends, if this yes, prayer helps, fresh. follow me and put a comment follow me down and put below. A- She's sneaky, isn't she? She's with the call to action at the end too. Make sure you give me a follow, comment. Wow, she's a bit of a hustler, huh? Now look, this is when it really gets out of hand, okay? Anxiety is one thing, and then we get into cancer, bitch. (laughs) This is her healing tips for cancer. Number one, make sure you have forgiven everyone. (laughs) Number two, cast out a spirit of offense and infirmity. I don't know what that means, but sounds good. Now number three, Command your T cells to eat up cancer. Um, she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> she knows. She knows what she's talking about. She said T cells. Number four, cast out a spirit of death and cancer. Now, my problem with this is that cancer is a natural thing. I know, you know, uh, cancer is horrible. It's really bad. Fuck cancer. But at the same time, if you're looking at it um, from a, you know, life sciences standpoint, human sciences standpoint, anatomy standpoint, cancer is a part of life. It is a part of nature. Um, It's not this unnatural thing. So is death. Okay. Cancer and death they are just part of the life experience. All right. Casting out a spirit of death and like, does cancer have its own spirit? I think she's making things up at this point. And number five, command the cancer to die and disappear. Look at the, the caption here. The caption says, even if you don't have cancer, praying offensively for T cells to eat up cancer is a good idea. Don't wait for a diagnosis. Be proactive in making sure you never receive a diagnosis. It's that simple. Are you being attacked in the night? Do you find yourself trying to sleep and then all of a sudden a succubus appears out of nowhere and tries to disturb your sleep? I didn't say, do you want it? I said, do you, does this happen to you? Not do you want it? I'm not giving it to you. I'm trying to take it away, obviously. Are you getting attacked by incubus and succubus incubus spirits and in the succubus. night? They're demonic spirits that come to defile come you to defile in, you in the, the night. night. How do you get rid of them? Break agreement with them. Put up a hedge of protection around your bedroom. Get out your anointing oil and anoint your bed and say, in the name of Jesus, I command there will be no demonic visitation, no unclean, foul, evil spirits. And I bind every incubus and succubus demon from attacking me, my spouse in the night. Friends, speak out scriptures of peace. Say, I'm going to lie down and my sleep is going to be sweet. Bind the demonic realm and wake up refreshed girl, and Kathy, renewed. I can see you're tired, girl. Like I can see just how tired you are, girl. On the topic of oil, Miss Kathy sells her own oil. Yes, she does. She has her own line of anointing oil. And you ask me, Rose, what does anoint? What is anointing? It means smearing or rubbing with oil keep that one in your mind okay keep that keep that thought in in the noggin there so miss kathy has her own oil line here now let's see she's got anointing oil best uh, seller kathy's favorite let's see what kathy's favorite looks like kathy was under a witchcraft curse which sent her to the hospital for testing and procedures she anointed herself 10 times a day 10 times a day of the rubbing and the smearing with the oil girl. She must have been really slickety. No wonder she got rid of the diagnosis. It slipped right off. The the bacteria, the disease, the illness, it actually, her body was so slick that it actually slid right off. Uh Uh-oh, testimony. A follower of Kathy's had cancer and less than six weeks to live. Kathy sent her a prayer cloth and anointing oil. She wore the prayer cloth into surgery. Is that sterile? Anyway, anointed herself. Okay, before surgery, a little anointing before surgery. Okay. And was healed both through surgery and the power of God. 
It's been one and a half years. The person is healthy, whole and restored. Glory. Anyway, watching all this has made me feel a little bit cuckoo. So I'm going to have to leave that one here. You let me know what you think about this. Have you ever seen this lady before? I command my, my diarrhea to stop now. And on that note, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, love and farts. Bye.